You know, I just want to take a moment here to do a really quick video. Uh, I am well known for saying over and over and over again, support your local gun shop, support your local gun shop. Uh, and I get a lot of comments from people saying, you know, they understand what I'm saying. They realize when I say what I mean when I say, you know, that your local gun shop might be all that stands between you and not being able to get a gun, period, someday. Uh, so they say they understand that, but, you know, they can't afford to go out and buy a gun all the time. And, you know, that doesn't have to be what you have to do. You don't have to be able to afford to go out and buy a gun all the time. I can't afford to buy a gun all the time. When I do usually afford to buy a gun, it's because I've sold a gun. So uh, what I tell these people, you know, when you go out in your window shop and you like to look around the gun shop, you don't have to feel like you have to buy a gun. There's going to be people there that want to buy a gun, and of course the gun shop would love if everybody walked through the door and bought a gun. But most of the people who walk through the door uh, don't buy anything at all. So if you would just take the time, you know, and just spend a couple of dollars when you go in. I mean, most of us can scrape together five or ten dollars. Buy something like, you know, today, like when I went in, I bought, you know, just a couple of little Glock plugs. Now, do I need these? Not really. Definitely don't need them. Did I even really want them? Eh, well, you know, that's debatable. I wasn't sure I wanted them, but they were something I found when I was like, yeah, what can I find that I could spend a little money on? Uh, now, granted, I actually went back a little later and spent a lot more money because I'm an idiot, but, uh, this is what I bought when I thought, you know, I'm just going to come in today and I'm going to pick up a couple little things before I leave so, so that I actually bought something. So, you know, buy something like this. Buy a little case, you know, buy a box of ammo, just a single box of ammo, a target ammo, $12, you know. Spend a, spend a little money. Spend a little bit of your allowance. Because, you know, just think of it as like charities. Charities, they really like it when that one person gives them $10,000. But they know it's often uh, the thousand people that give them ten dollars that are just as important. And actually those are the ones that are most likely to be around all the time. So just think of it that way. It's sometimes it's the littlest things that can make the biggest impact. So you know, it, you might make a big difference in your gun shop's uh, longevity and stability if you and people like you just every time you go in, Spend five, spend ten, spend fifteen dollars, even if you never buy a gun. Even if you're the kind of person, you, you know, you like guns, you can't really afford them. Uh, you've got one or two at home, you can't really afford to buy any other, or maybe you just don't want to buy any more. Go in, buy little accessories, buy some ammo from a local gun shop. Uh, don't do all your shopping offline, because like I say, set, shop, doing all your gun shopping offline is setting yourself up for trouble in the long run. So I say support your local gun shop, but it doesn't have to be big. It can just be something little, just like these little plugs.